coming. Thank you, Harley Tree Gallery, for, for hosting this. Thank you, Stephen, for making this happen. <clears throat> and I'm really, I'm really overwhelmed by the people here and the response. I'm really, really happy um, and uh, thankful. I thought I would like to start with a, a little poem in Danish, so we can hear this strange language. <coughs> The problem is that I don't have the Danish version, so I will read from the English. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll see what will happen. <laughs> Hus, sol, træ, smil, stol, dit lange hår, den vilde angst, dine 10.000 volt fra tungens elektron, din hånd, dine varme bryster, en lethed, som må have astronomiske konsekvenser. Pas på, du kan jo få byer til at svæve og galakser til at koordinere med det der smil. Jeg mærker luftens mangel på modstand. Og alligevel forventes det, at jeg mister selv de mindste ord. Hus, sol, træ, smil, stol. You understand? <laughs> I guess so. so you won't have any translation. Um, so one little poem more here. Um, in English, I try. Uh, and the, 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 the section is called the smallest words, and these first words are the words that the scientists they use for the quarks, the state of the quarks. So that will be blue, red, Green, up, down, top, bottom, charm, strange. So these are all adjectives apparently. <laughs> I stuck my bold point between dreams, violet buttocks of nonsense. Perhaps I should not stand alone on this. Perhaps the authorities should have retaliated. Retaliated. How was it? Retaliated. Retaliated. Perfect. Person. Yeah, retaliated. Long time ago. <coughs> but now it is too late to intervene. Yeah. Uh, and here we are. Um, actually, I would love if this last part of this reading would be a conversation. So if you have any comments, please comment or ask questions or whatever you feel like. But. Um, what uh, I could do is also to read a little bit of the articles, for instance, uh, for you. And <laughs> uh, tell you a little bit about the pharmacy. It is a very personal project, you can say. Uh, I wanted to do it for a long time. And um, yeah, for many years, and every time I told about it, people were looking very strange at me. And saying, oh, sounds interesting. But, uh, when I did it, it seems that people understand it, and that's a nice experience. Sometimes you have to do what you are talking about. <laughs> uh, and simply, it is just a combination of grammar and medicine. Okay? Two languages they make put together. Nobody wants grammar. <laughs> Nobody wants medicine. But apparently, if you put them together, somebody wants them. Yeah, and that's beautiful. And. Uh, and this about two languages, I think we should, we should uh, be very aware of. That, uh, the poets I like are often the one that has two languages. Uh, it's, it's in the gap things are happening. And, and biling biling we were talking about yes. bilinguist. Uh, it is a very, very interesting um, um, yeah, state of mind and very special place. We should look for that. Where the, language doesn't fit together. Um, yeah, and uh, well, working with translators has been fun. Uh, this uh, is translated by Barbara Haveland, and she did a wonderful job trying to find the side effects of the English language. Uh, when I did the, the Welsh uh, language, which uh, here, uh, pharmacy, which is here, um, it, w it had a, uh, an exhibition in Bangor, and um, and suddenly the Welsh people said to me, oh, we never saw medicine boxes in, in English. So suddenly it, it became part of their national uh, identity, you can say. And then that was uh, interesting for me. And I wanted to do 
pharmacies in, in smaller and smaller languages possible. And uh, in the dialect of uh, Napoli or, <laughs> or Inuit, and then I could have an exhibition in an igloo, maybe. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, and it seems that the pharmacy has found a home here. Yeah. Uh, Cameron has said that. Um, that here used to be a lot of drug addicts around. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. And then, then when we did the pharmacy in Berlin, it was so nice that people came in from the street and thought they were buying aspirins. Mm -hmm. uh, and some of them went out with, uh, with pronouns. Yeah. <laughs> that was a nice experience. Um, and the last thing I could say for now is that the boxes are built in the way that the size corresponds to the size of the work class. And some of them are uh, built over real products. Um, for instance, the pronouns, they are built over Prozac. <laughs> so the side effects are really heavy. That's what you care. And uh, the adjectives are built over head lies, which is also very nice because uh, uh, yeah, the adjectives, they want to suck blood from <laughs> other words. And, then, um, and it, it was full of gifts, this pro process this combining process. And for instance, when they said, uh, contact your nearest doctor, I could just go, contact your nearest poet. Yeah. So, so it was easy job somehow, you can say. The, can I just yeah, ask the, please, uh, please. well, you said, I was wondering about the yeah. size of the boxes, yeah. so I understand. However, yeah. you've made the numerals very small, and yet that would be yeah, in, was, um, infinite. Yes, be an infinite. Yes, it's an interesting. Uh, hmm. um, yeah. Um, well, of course, these these are easy to understand why they are big, uh, because they are like C vitamins. They get new get, get new verbs all the time, and, and the articles are really the smallest one. There will never be a new article, probably. And the numerals, um, I choose that because actually the words on the on the on in the leaflets um, I took from something called core words. Uh, which are uh, lists of words that 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 makes the language. So people have they are kind of thousand words, uh, the core words of English. We love speak mm -hmm. twelve hundred, and and it turned out that there were only uh, uh, 40, uh, 47 uh, core words, uh, core uh, numerals. Okay. That's why I choose that. Yeah. But it's okay. good. It should be yeah, a, yeah. a huge box, of course. No, but that's interesting. Yeah, I yeah, didn't know yeah, yeah. Like, what. You're right, so, you're right. so, how does it work? I haven't read it. Is it like one to ten? Yes, and then it no, goes no, like a yeah, well, hundred, a thousand, or something. yeah, they are the most frequent ones. These yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, then there was the whole idea, uh, the whole. Mm. Uh, um, I would say, um, uh, should there be something in the box apart from the leaflet? I mean, yeah. could there be? Prozac, Prozac, but placebo or mint or something, uh, yeah. sugar pills. Or, or Prozac. Prozac, it could be, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, I, I choose only to have the, the paper mm. and, 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 and the words. Mm. But these um, vocabularies or these core words are really interesting because um, I studied also different languages, and then it, <coughs> and it's, it varies what what is mm. on them. You know? and, uh, mm. It also makes an image of, of, of the country mm. or the mm. nation. So yeah, it's, it's interesting. But uh, yeah, just a little bit from the articles. Uh, so we have that, uh, yeah. one: what articles are and what they use for. We are articles. We are little words that come in front of nouns and make them definite or indefinite. We are very unassuming. We are very few. But we can drag things out and into the definite. So we matter a lot. There's a big difference between whether there is the wolf or these wolves. But we are not wolves, we are articles. Two, what you, have to know, what you need to know before starting using articles. Do not use articles if you don't want to be 
brought out of the indefinite and into the definite, or if you don't want to be brought out of the definite and into the indefinite. Use the articles along with food and drink. Yes, you can use articles in any conversation, text, or other exchange of words. Pregnancy. Yes, you can use articles during pregnancy. Breastfeeding. Yes, you can use you can breastfeed even if you are using articles. Driving and use of machinery. Articles will not affect your ability to drive or to use machinery. Three. How to use articles. You can use as many articles as you want, wherever wherever you may be or whoever you may be. And that goes for all of you too. We will be we will be articles. Determiners. We are determiners. Determining words. We are passwords that let you in and out of the definite. We will help you to reach determinant ends or undeterminate ends. We are your watchwords, your shibboleth. We are your, your marker for possible side effects. We have no serious side effects. We make you someone. If you don't want to be someone, don't use us. <laughs> Five, storing articles. We do best in, for, in gas deposits, in transitions and threshold areas, random regions, in terrain environments borderlands, grey zones, in the common, in the uncommon. We crop up and we are found everywhere. We are articles. Yeah. So... <laughs> Has anyone ever used them as teaching aids? Yeah, uh, that's a nice experience I have mm. that, that, that uh, actually now kids are using them in schools, you know, <laughs> in order to learn uh, grammar and then and, and, and art people put them in galleries and uh, that's nice, you know, this, this uh, double uh, life of them. And, uh, yeah. and, and it was something I never thought would happen uh, to poetry. It's so nice, you know, being a poet, you, you're so used that nobody wants you. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly you know, somebody at least wants you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Thank you.